by the state of affairs in Africa. Um, my conviction that we needed a new generation of credible, innovative, honest people who had a vision for how to move this continent forward and who would work diligently to inspire others to do that. You know, there's hardly any discussion one has about the huge gap between where Africa is today and where we all acknowledge that its vast potential could get it. Any discussion you have on that huge gap always starts and ends with the quality of leadership in Africa. That is the bane of our society, the absence of accountability, the absence of effectiveness. There's so much wastage in our system. And of course, the ability to provide leadership uh, in a professional way is something that is very well needed in our environment today. And this is the gap that LEAP is feeling. So we're focused on changing the mindsets of the average African to believe that they can uh, make a positive difference in their society, to care about others and not just themselves, uh, to be accountable, to be credible, to have integrity, to stand for what is right. And we felt that if we could really build an army of people who believe these uh, values and who live them, then we can transform our continent. I connected with, with, that, with that vision very quickly. I mean, I, it was obvious to me that leadership was a big problem. Uh, youth were a big challenge, Le leadership in the youth space. The lack of uh, progress or the lack of capacity in government um, needed meant that the social, social, uh, civil society had to rise up. So I connected it very, very, very well. If you look at the Mo Ibrahim Prize for Leadership, the fact that in three of the six years since it's been instituted, since it's been founded, we've only had three leaders, that's telling. And I think that really underscores and validates the relevance of LEAP's vision. Africa has been up to quite a lot in the past 10 years. We started out with our youth leadership program in about five states in Nigeria and also with our business leadership program and we have since grown and expanded our operations to over 26 states in Nigeria and the FCT. LEAP Africa has reached out to Kano, Enugu, Port Harcourt, Abuja, Ogun, Oshun, all over and we do this where we identify that there is a need and that the little resources we have will have the most critical impact and we go there. So it's almost like a best value for donor funds approach and this has guided every single step that uh, we've taken for the past 10 years plus. These programs have given birth to many more programs. For example, our youth leadership program gave birth to our Leadership Ethics and Civics program which we pioneered in public schools which really prepares secondary school students for the challenges ahead in life and also to act as responsible citizens in their local communities and challenge and, and take on challenging projects in their local communities and show that young people can make a difference. Beyond the impact on the students, we have also empowered teachers by improving their training and teaching and also facilitation skills which has greatly enhanced their capacity to teach their students beyond the league students in the schools. But we need to start reminding the culture, the morals of how they can be good people. The focus for most of the programs is to instill a sense of leadership in everything that we do and we reach out to teachers in school, young people, uh, professionals as mentors, to drive the key elements of LEAP. In addition to the LEAP program, we pioneered our Integrity Institute in five states across Nigeria in 2005. And through this program, young people took up or designed action plans that really tackled corruption and issues related to corruption in their local communities. And we can see the impact of this program in the way that young people across Nigeria, at least those that have passed through our program, are holding up and tackling issues related to corruption.
The annual Youth Leadership Awards really is one of our flagship programs because it's designed to celebrate outstanding young Nigerians that are making a difference in their local communities. Because many people do not know that young people actually are taking on uh, positive initiatives in their local communities and by celebrating them and showcasing them, we not only show the impact of their work, we also encourage other, other young Nigerians to take up similar initiatives in their local communities. To address the youth unemployment challenge in Nigeria, LEAP launched the employability program in 2007 and since then we have reached over 3,000 disadvantaged young Nigerians and improved their employability prospects and leadership capacity. And we've also successfully placed over 200 of these beneficiaries in jobs. I was 17 years when I started the Youth Leadership Program with LEAP. And there's a particular segment we had during the Youth Leadership Program. And the facilitators said, Picture yourself in your funeral ceremony. What will people say about you? That segment was lasted for five minutes, and that has really inspired me to start up an initiative called Bright It Organization. Our mission is to inspire and empower students for a brighter future and to live a disciplined life. And through this initiative, I've been able to inspire young people by way of getting scholarship and get, helping them get professional jobs and skills. We don't want to go. <laughs> Leap Africa has a, a business leadership program that I participated in about five years ago. I founded a company called House of Tara, an indigenous beauty company. And I started up as an undergraduate in the university. At the time I went on the program, I, I felt that I wanted more. I felt I wanted more for the business. I wanted the business to become sustainable. And going through that program, one of the impacts was I learned that um, structure is a vehicle for sustainable business, for building a sustainable business. I also came out of, of the program with a desire and a knowledge for the importance of core values. Every organization needs to have its own core values, what their ethos are, what, what are the guiding principles of each business. And I built, I sat down and thought it through, and it was part of the exercise of, of the class. And um, today I'm building the business, being conscious of, of who's going to be next in line and who's going to take over from me. So successful planning, um, structure as a vehicle or platform for sustainable business were two things that I took away from that program. As a result of this program, we have the entrepreneurs come back and tell us how impactful the program was because the program don't teach hard skills, they teach soft skills. And we, we have seen them go away. It's not easy, but we've seen them go away and implement the systems and structures. We've seen them go away and institute these changes in the organizations and they are the better for it. This program fits perfectly with what City is trying to do around the world. City is a, a huge supporter of microfinance and entrepreneurship in addition to our financial education and youth education training programs that we run all over the world. The business leadership program, BLP for short, is a perfect um, a partner for City in Nigeria and working with Leap Africa has been um, a great experience for us so far. Over the past 10 years that Leap has been in existence, We've provided over 15,000 young Nigerians with really important and vital leadership skills and experiences. We have the Youth Leadership and the Business Leadership Program. That has impacted some 30,000 people. And the, with the youth leadership, the youth leadership component of that, the participants have deployed 275 change projects. Now these are projects that cut across environmental, health, education, various spheres and their projects that are deployed into the community in which you, you know, in which you live, in which you operate, to make a difference. You know, that's, that's what a change project is. We also have the Leadership Ethics and Civics Program, which is deployed in public secondary schools. And what that does, it's, you know, the students get together in teams with the support of their teachers, and again, they deploy change projects within their local communities. There have been almost 500, I think there are 499 projects have been deployed to date. That's a significant impact. You have the CEOs forum where we have successful CEOs come and speak about their vision, what they have done and how they have been able to be 
successful and most importantly CEOs that have operated with a great deal of integrity and authenticity. You know, so I think we can see that our vision is relevant and also that our reach has been quite significant. We'd like to do more. We're Leap Africa. So far we focused on Nigeria. Clearly we would like to do more. There's so much more work to do but I'm excited about the work we've been able to do so far. I'm excited about the impact we've been able to make. When I look at some of our programs um, like Niger Junction or Liwa or the Business Leadership Program, the Youth Leadership Program, uh, the Integrity Institute, I'm really, really proud. I think selecting the board members was also, uh, you know, was a critical part, but I think the quality of the board that we got, I think made the work easier. Leap has some of the most committed, passionate and dedicated board members who have sacrificed so much to get us to this place. It's a board where everybody is focused on the same vision and uh, so it's not difficult to convince people to do certain things, to be given. Uh, to leap, to reach out to their social and business networks to assist leap uh, in doing what is basically good works within the Nigerian society. Towards the end of my tenure as, as, as a chairman of the board, indeed he needed to, for personal reasons, needed to sort of you know, step aside, if you may. And I think passing on the bait on to um, Mosu and to Ngozi, I think was a major thing and I think that happened quite smoothly. The succession process was a challenging and interesting one at the same time because here I was taking over from Didi, who had not only accomplished a lot at Lee but all through her life. So it was a bit, it was scary feeling those shoes. But I didn't try to feel the shoes as I always say. I came with my own shoes. But the great part of the whole process was that I had the wonderful support of not just Ndidi, but also the entire board. And I think that one of the greatest strengths that LEAP has, in addition to its board, are the staff. So it was just easy doing my work with all those great people around me. My job here is to put the word out there about what LEAP does. LEAP is interested in leadership development and it's so important that we let the world know that we are developing talents, we are trying to get people to reach their maximum potential through our leadership programs. And over the years, we've been able to create so many publications, the social media, our website, from our annual reports to our bi-monthly newsletters. LEAP is involved in so many programs and it's important that we continue to partner with people to ensure that we reach those at the grassroots and across all levels. The interesting thing about LEAP staff is that they are very passionate. We look out for this in our recruitment process. We don't just look at people qualification. We look out for people that are actually passionate about Nigeria and are very interested in what we do. We work in the social sector and we affect lives of people in ways beyond what we really can imagine most of the time. So for me, getting to speak with young people and getting to go places and interact with people to talk about change, positive change, issues of leadership, um, values and ethics, it means the world to me and that's one thing that gets me going at leave. Our staff have just been incredible. Uh, they work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They imbibe the vision, they live it. Um, and obviously we've had some visionary funders who have stood by us from the beginning. I think that LEAP has come along and ought to be congratulated uh, on its 10th anniversary for what I will call uh, footprints in the sands of time. I found for the last five years since I've been at City and working with Leap Africa that they hit the mark on, on these three um, areas. Professional, they're highly eth they have highly ethical standards and they execute uh, the programs um, that, we, that we run together with them efficiently and effectively. I think I would like to thank our funding partners because without funding, it's impossible to do all the various things that we've been able to do over the past 10 years, or indeed the things that we would like to do in the future. And also really past and present board members and staff of LEAP for their commitment and diligence that has helped LEAP realize its vision. We really would like to see 
the impact of our work being felt in the countries and we'd love to see a Nigeria that's safer, a Nigeria that's more peaceful, a Nigeria where young people can grow up and achieve their highest potential, where we have credible and effective leaders. We'd love to see some of our alumni stepping into politics and stepping into business leadership roles um, and civil society roles and leading the change that we expect, not only in Nigeria but for the African continent. That's our vision, that's our hope, that's our prayer. And we believe that we're working with you our funders, our volunteers, our partners, that we can achieve this, this vision in our lifetime and leave this country a better place for our children and our grandchildren.